JewishHistory.org presents Rabbi Beryl Wine's 5,000 Years of Jewish History. One video clip at a time. Clip number 23, Writing of the Talmud. After the destruction of the Temple in the year 70, uh, the attitude of the Jews towards Rome was an ambivalent one. On one hand, it saw the greatness of Rome, its legal system, its engineering, its highways, its empire. On the other hand, they resented Rome. They resented its paganism, its violence, and the fact that it was a corrupt society. And the corruption slowly was seeping into the empire. And the Jews felt, and correctly so, eventually the empire would collapse. All great empires fall from within not just from without. And the corruption of Rome, its sadism, its violence, its immorality, that took away the soul of Rome and would allow the barbarians eventually to overwhelm them. The Jews concentrated on their studies, on their way of life, on producing the Mishnah, as I mentioned before, and in the year 200, the great Rabbi Judah the Prince, who was a friend of the Roman Emperor Antoninus. Now, we don't know which Antoninus it was. It could be Antoninus Pius, who was the Roman Emperor. It could be uh, the famous Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher Emperor. It could be his son. But he was friends with the Emperor and there was a period of great relaxation and tension and decrees between the Jews and the Romans, especially in the land of Israel. And it was during that propitious time that Rabbi Judah the Prince edited and published publicly for the first time the oral law of Sinai in the form of the Mishnah. Now, there had been a tradition amongst the Jews that the oral law based on the word oral, was never to be written down. When you write something down, it freezes it. And the oral law was dynamic, always subject to creativity. But nevertheless, because Rabbi Judah the Prince realized that the Jewish people are going into a long and difficult exile, and they're not going to be able to maintain a purely oral tradition because of the troubles that will befall them, so he took it upon himself to write and edit and publish all of the oral law till his time, and that became the Mishnah. The Mishnah becomes the foundation of the Talmud. The Mishnah and the Talmud together are the foundation of rabbinic Judaism until today, of Jewish life. It's not uh, an exaggeration to say that religious Jews today still live a Talmudic way of life, because that is our basis for our behavior and our value system and the way we look at the world. So from the year 200 on, the oral law is now subject to being written. It retains its creativity, but its creativity is expressed in writing and in books and no longer just in oral lectures. My name is Beryl Wine, and I thank you for watching. For more on Jewish history, go to jewishhistory.org.